What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School here. Just wanted to uh, talk to everyone today about the recent events that have happened out in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, it's definitely a, uh, a horrible situation in my heart. My prayers go out to everyone that's been affected by that, families, friends. It's, it's just a, a terrible, terrible thing done by terrible, terrible people. I'm not going to sit here and get into the theories and this and that. And I definitely think there is uh, more to what happened. I don't think he is the only person that was involved. And of course, I mean, law enforcement, everyone's not going to release all the information while they're doing their investigation. And, and who really knows if they're going to release all the information you know, once the investigation is done. And I hate to say it, but we really can't rely on the media now because it's turned into who can get it first, not if it's the right information, but who can get it first. Uh, look at, you know, Tom Petty that recently passed away. You know, rest in peace there. Uh, it, you know, it was, oh, he's dead, oh, he's not dead, and then he's dead. I mean, it's just... You know, it's all about who can get the information first and get it out there. It's not about who, who's who got the right information. You know, I say that because we all need to really start doing our own research when things like this happen and, and form our own conclusions and, and decisions around that situation because the media is going to give you what they want you to hear uh, to get the ratings and to get people to watch. Uh, and, even even local news, some local news is starting to turn into things like that. And what happens is we listen to the media and we rely on them, and then we become misinformed just because they're misinformed from their misinformation and that person's misinformation. And it's just this long trail of you know BS that happens along the way. And unfortunately, we we don't really do, you know, especially now with with where technology is at today. I mean. Everyone should be doing more research just to, to see exactly what's going on and what's being found and you know what other people are reporting. Don't rely on one or two sources. Go out and do your research. You know, you want to have be you don't want to be misinformed. And and sometimes listening to what the media has to say and <laughs> even even me, people are gonna sit here and say that oh I'm misinformed about this or I'm misinformed about that or I'm not giving the right information or you know they'll start throwing the the racism words and oh you know he's oh he's a gun toting Republican you know that's <laughs> it's it's just crazy how the world's changed from where it used to be and I, I kind of wanted to do this because I started getting questions on. Uh, Facebook, you know, being have, owning a gun school, being a gun instructor, just being in the industry, you know, people are asking, you know, what what do you think about what's going on? You know, do we need more restrictions? Do we need gun control? And it, you can add all the restrictions that you can can possibly think of. You, you can even take the guns away, but that's you know, that's not going to stop you know bad people from doing bad things and, and getting access to this stuff. You know, look at the UK. Most of Europe have some of the, you know, strictest gun laws, and, and there's still people that get get guns. Some of them don't even allow guns, you know, to private citizens. And there's still people that get guns and, and cause things like this to happen. You know, if they can't get a gun, they'll go and get a bomb and blow themselves up along with, you know, 800 other people. I mean, it's it's... Bad people are going to do bad things, and there, there's no way to stop evil. You can throw as much as you want to at it, but it, it's not going to stop anything. It's, it's that's the the bad side of what we live in nowadays. You know, and kind of going back to the the media thing, and as far as looking, everybody goes and calls this, just so we're all on the same page gun is clear. Everyone calls this an assault rifle or an automatic rifle. 
yes they do make versions of this that are fully automatic but those go to uh, the government law enforcement and military and special forces all that stuff uh, the only way your average citizen can have a fully automatic weapon is going through tons of paperwork tons of time you know with the ATF and I think the uh, gun has to be purchased or has to be built before like May of 1986 anything after that you know it can't be done and that's you know the, the paperwork and the time is, is just ridiculous when it comes to the tax stamps and everything you have to go through to have a fully automatic rifle you know unless you're a gun dealer and you've already got you know an FFL but again that's paperwork and stuff with the ATF that you've got to go through that takes time um, a lot of people want to turn uh, the verb assault into a noun and make this again an assault rifle or an assault weapon this is a rifle well I've actually built it to be an AR pistol but it's what I've got right now to kind of give everybody the idea this is a rifle nothing more than a rifle AR does not stand for assault rifle it does not stand for automatic rifle AR stands for armor like rifle which is the company that first started producing the AR rifles uh, they started with the M16 uh, again kind of tying in with you know what's going on in the media and everybody wanting to chime in you got Jimmy Kimmel talking about oh why do the citizens need M16s I'm sorry but citizens can't have M16s they're fully automatic they're made for law enforcement and military a citizen can have a semi-automatic rifle now yes there are things that you can buy the bump stocks like supposedly what uh, the, you see I don't watch the news like, what is it Stephen Paddock or whatever his name is you know it, yes you can buy bump stocks yes it can make them fire faster and, if you want to ban bump stocks, ban bump stocks. Well, whatever. You know, but banning guns all the way around and keeping it from your average law-abiding citizens is not going to make anything better. It's going to make it harder for us to protect ourselves and protect our loved ones. I mean, go and look and see how many times, you know, someone with the CWP has been in the right place at the right time and, and saved lives in the long run. But nobody wants to discuss that. And, you know, I knew when they, when my wife came in and told me that this had happened out in Las Vegas, I told her that they're going to go right for the guns. And what's everybody doing? They're going to take a horrible situation and they're going to politicize it. You know, right? why can't we just mourn the people and, and help the people that need uh, to be helped? You know, why does everything's got to go right to, you know, oh, we need to get rid of guns. And then, you know, you start on silencers, which is not even the actual technical term. Just like this, again, is not an automatic rifle. It's an armor light rifle. It's a freaking rifle. They're not silencers. They are suppressors. They suppress the sound. They don't silence the sound. Silencers is some legal term everybody threw on it, you know, because you hear everything in the movies again back to you know not the media movies are media it's not like what you see in the movies now yes you can have it pretty quiet if you have a suppressor with subsonic rounds there are ways that can be done but <laughs> excuse me you can't just screw a little thing on the end and it makes the gun completely quiet it doesn't happen that way they're not silencers they're suppressors no, I don't have a suppressor here because I don't feel like spending the money to get the tax stamp and all that stuff right now. You know, it's funny that they start talking about silencers and suppressors and, oh, imagine how many people would have been killed if, you know, they wouldn't have been able to hear it and run away. You know, how many people heard it and still didn't move? You know, from the videos I've seen, there was a, a lot of gunfire going on before anybody heard or did anything, you know. So it's... <laughs> It, it, it wouldn't have made a difference, you know, not having them those available. It's it's a suppressor. It suppresses the sound. You know, they were trying to. You know, there's a hearing protection act that's been trying to get passed through. 
uh, to through the Congress and everything to get passed, which would take the tax stamp off of the suppressors, which I'm all for. You know, I would love to have a whole class with everybody being able to use a suppressor when it comes to rifles, because I know it can frustrate the neighbors and stuff with the, all the gunfire, especially you get six, seven, ten, twelve people down there with rifles. It, it can get pretty loud and sound like a freaking war zone. But, you know, until that passes, that's just not something that's going to be able to happen right now. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to speak a little bit about this to because of the questions that I've been getting. I figured, you know, kind of putting a video out, feel free to put in some comments and stuff and put some discussion around this. I'm, I'm always open, you know, for an, an open discussion around this. You know, but if you start acting a fool, you know, when I start throwing out facts as well, then, you know, we're just going to end that conversation. I'm not going to have anybody sit around and act a fool when you start having, you know, statistics and stuff thrown at you to show, you know, proof. And all you start doing is blasting and hollering and screaming and just being a little internet troll. So please, let's have some open conversation around this. I, I, I warrant it. Uh, I'd love to discuss this anytime do I get frustrated with it yes just like I know people get frustrated trying when I'm trying to show them you know my side of things and that that's the great thing about this country is being able to you know have our own opinion and stuff but please go out and do your own research check everything out don't be one of the misinformed uh, we do a, a learning firearm seminar which is great for anyone that's wanting to start learning more about weapons. Even if you don't like guns, I shouldn't say weapons, want to learn more about guns or firearms in general, um, come in and take the class. You know, I, I, I will be glad to help you out to learn more about firearms to show that they're actually very safe and in the right hands are very safe. In anything in the wrong hands, uh, the tripod here. I can take this tripod and go out and assault someone then. Then I'm assaulting someone. Um, so a chair that I've got sitting around here, a table, my computer, the Bluetooth speaker, anything can be turned into a weapon and be used you know, for harm. Taking it away, access from average, everyday law-abiding citizens isn't going to change anything. You know, go out, if you do have a CWP, if you do have a handgun, you know, go out somewhere. If it's not through us, go somewhere, learn more about that handgun, get more comfortable with it, because, it get, like I discussed, you know, in America, I shouldn't say America, cause, because it's going on everywhere. You know, we don't really see what goes on in other countries too much, unless it's really something major, but it's, it's, the world's changed. It's not what it used to be. And the best thing to do is, is prepare for it. And know what to do when something bad happens. That's, you know, one thing that scares me is, you know, having a little, little girl, you know. You always hope you're raising your kids right, but in the world today is, I don't just hope I'm raising my child right, I am hope I'm teaching her enough to be able to survive in the world today, and really not just survive, but to, to live in the world today. It's happening everywhere around us. There's things that have happened around here in South Carolina. You know, look at what happened down in, in Charleston with the, uh, the church and uh, Dylan Roof, I think was his name. I mean, it's, it's happening. Go out, learn, and get trained. Learn, learn more about your firearm. If you don't want to carry a firearm, you don't like firearms, that's fine. But go somewhere and just learn how they function and how they work. So if you're ever around someone that does have a gun or a firearm and something happens to them and that could possibly save your life, are you just going to let it lie there and say, oh, I don't like guns, while you've got somebody shooting at you, possibly shooting at your family, your friends, you know, other people and just shooting at other people if you, if you don't know them. You need to be able to defend yourself, so that's fine. If you don't want to carry, you don't want to own them, that's fine. But know how they work so if something happens and that's what you've got access to, 
to be able to save your life or somebody else's life, uh, trust me, you, you're going to use it. Uh, there was an article I recently saw where I can't remember the person name. There's some kind of uh, leader of an anti-gun group in Chicago, one of the hardest, strictest places to, you know, get a gun or have a gun. She goes out and buys a gun legally, of course, because you know what she said. She felt scared in her neighborhood. You know, look at what's going on in, like, Chicago. You know, California has some of the strictest gun laws, but things still happen there. So, I mean, making it harder or taking it away isn't going to make it easier on anyone. Getting educated and learning about them is what's going to ensure things don't happen. <laughs> Just, if we'd have had gun control and no guns, would something like that have still happened? Possibly, yes. It might not have been a gun. It might have been a truck full of fertilizer and, you know, blowing people up. I mean, if, if people are going to do bad things, they're going to find a way to get it done. Making it harder for us to protect ourselves is not going to make it any easier. You've got to know your information. Don't be misinformed. If you have questions, please feel free to call me. I'll be glad to answer any questions or I'll be glad to have any type of open discussion but like I said we do have a learning firearm seminar that we have in the schedule and we do periodically you know if you want something private set up if you want something with your you know church set up to where you know we can come in and talk about it and you know, we've got our active shooter simulation training um, we've got mobile simulation training we can bring our stuff and teach you how to work in your church or your home or your place of business or wherever you might want to, to learn more about what you need to do and how you need to work to, to get out of that situation. But don't be misinformed. Don't go off just what you're hearing in the media. Uh, most of them just need to keep their mouth shut and, and just report just the news, not try to add their own little spin to it. But it, it's what happens. I mean, you got the CNN reporter running around saying, Oh, most of them were probably Trump supporters, and then the, the CBS lawyer talking about don't mourn them. They were all Trump supporters, or they were all Republicans. You know, that's <laughs> that's just. Imagine if somebody like me, or you know, an actual Republican or something, would have said something like that. You know, during the Obama administration. And I'm I'm not trying to sit here and drag, you know, racism or anything like that. I'm just saying just making a comment, oh, if they were all Democrats, you know, we don't need them more. I mean, it's just how this world has changed. It, it, I kind of find some of it amusing the way they do stuff, but, you know, definitely not things that, that happen within the past, you know, week here. It's, it's not good. Things like that don't need to happen, but to help combat them and avoid them, you need to, to get educated. Know how a gun works know what to look for you know, know what to look for in somebody's actions I'm sure there's more to this than what's being told or probably what ever be told so it's, it's horrible and things like that will probably continue to happen gun debate is going to continue to happen but education learning the fundamentals are, are what is going to be key so you know please feel free to comment you know if you want to sit there and dog me dog me I don't really care you know I, I wanted to put this out there because I've been getting a lot of questions around this and you know, what I think would be the the best answer and it's, I don't think there's any you can take them away and it's still going to happen you know I've been in those countries when I was in service and it's it still happens you, you can go and do the research now and see that it's still you know ongoing so don't don't think just because taking we're going to take them away is, is going to fix anything it's not you know I, I hope everyone goes out and learns more about firearms from someone somewhere you know if you you don't want to shoot a live weapon i've got the simulation stuff you know that we that we can do just so you can see how to hold it and different things like that. So, I just, it's, it's a horrible situation, and I hope that we can 
move on from this and, and be able to get through this without it being any more politicized or more than what it already is. I mean, this is just ridiculous, but I knew it was going to happen. Go out, get educated, learn the fundamentals, do your own research, and don't be misinformed. It just, it's just horrible. It's just horrible. I hope everyone has a great week and a great weekend. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. See you on the range.